With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is a square current carrying loop made of thin wire and having a mass m equals to 10 gram can rotate without friction with respect to the vertical axis O O1 passing throughout the center of the loop at right angles to two opposite sides. Of the loop, the loop is placed in a homogeneous magnetic field with and induction. With field induction, B equals to 10 to the power minus 1 Tesla, directed at right angles to the plane of the drawing current I equals to 2 amperes, is flowing in the loop. Find the period of small oscillations that the loop performs about its position of stable equilibrium. Okay, now see we are given a loop that is placed in a homogeneous magnetic field in which a current of 2 amperes is flowing. Okay, this is 2 amperes is flowing. And we have to find the time period of small oscillation of the loop perform about its position of stable equilibrium. Okay, now see. First of all, uh, the condition for stable equilibrium is that the magnetic moment and the magnetic field induction direction must be in same direction okay must be in same direction and now we are given the direction of the magnetic field induction that is cross polarity means it's inside the screen and to find the direction of magnetic moment uh, we can use the right hand thumb rule that is see uh, we have to curl our fingers right hand fingers in the direction of current in the clockwise then thumb will represent the direction of magnetic moment hence we can see that the thumb will give the direction of magnetic moment inside the screen only okay hence we can say that for this uh, at this time or at this instant the m and b are in the same direction hence it is a stable equilibrium now if i rotate this loop by a small angle theta such that like this okay like this it will okay this angle will be theta okay so it is in small uh, it is in stable equilibrium okay now see the direction of okay let me write the value of torque okay so torque will be given as mb sin theta okay so this is just the magnitude now and for m we can calculate m by the formula that is n i into area okay let the length of the loop be a okay and now it is a square loop then the area would become a square okay so further now the uh, number of term in the loop is also one hence i can write this has to be i a square only so tau will be given as i a square into b into sin theta now this theta i have taken very small theta hence i can write sin theta i can approximate sin theta by nearly equal to theta okay so here i can write theta let this be equation number one further if i uh, find the torque about the axis o o1 then i can write the torque will be given as moment of inertia about o o1 multiply with the angular acceleration okay now see the direction of torque by uh, will be given as tau equals to m vector cross b vector right so if i in this case when i displaced the coil by the or the loop by some theta angle then m will be in this direction okay and b is inside okay b is inside then the theta we have to measure in this direction okay by the right hand thumb rule so this will be the direction of theta but the direction of angular acceleration is in opposite direction okay so we can write by using equation 1 and equation 2 that i a square b theta okay tau equals to i a square b theta will be equal to minus of i o o 1 times alpha okay or we can also write this as tau equals to i o o 1 times alpha will be equals to 
minus i a square b theta. So here alpha will be given as minus of i a square b divided by i o o 1 times of theta. So from here I can write alpha will be proportional to minus of theta. So this is nothing but the equation of simple harmonic motion. Right. And we have omega square omega square that is given as i a square b divided by i o o 1. So from here I can write the value of omega by taking square root both the sides. Omega will be given as i a square b divided by i o o 1. Now we have to find the time period. So time period is given as t equals to omega t equals to 2 pi by omega okay so this i can write as 2 pi 4 multiply with i o o 1 divided by i into a square into b now the moment of inertia of the loop about this axis o o 1 can be given as m l m l square by 6 hence so length i have taken equals to a so this will become ma square by 6 okay so let me write it here only the formula so t will be equals to 2 pi times under the root of we have here m into a square where small m is the mass okay mass of the loop divided by i into a square into p into 6 okay that is ma square by 6 so a square and a square will cancel out so let me now put the values we have 2 pi under the root so mass of the loop is given to be 10 grams okay, so this will become 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg divided by the current in the loop is 2 amperes and the magnitude of magnetic field induction is 10 to the power minus 1 tesla so this is 2 amperes into 10 to the power minus 1 into 6 so on solving this we will get t equals to 2 pi into 0 0.091229 further on solving this we will get t equals to 0 0.574 seconds okay so this is the required time period of the oscillation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.